hi guys welcome back in today's video we'll be learning how to make this beautiful corset top with stylish straps in this video we'll be learning how to draft the pattern to make this beautiful top if this looks like what you want to learn how to make them please keep watching and let's get started so guys to begin we'll be starting with the front pattern and as usual i'll just go ahead to rule out a straight line on my pattern paper this line is going to serve as a guideline and also a shoulder line on that line i'll go ahead and mark my shoulder measurement which is 14 divided by 27 on that point and then i'll come down by one inch as well on that point to create my shoulder slope i'm going to mark three inches for my neck width and then i will connect the slope after that, I'll go ahead and mark my round armhole measurement divided by 2, which is 7 inches. Just watch where I place my tape. I'll just go ahead and mark my 7 inches downwards. And then I'll also confirm my shoulder measurement on that point, which is 14 divided by 2, 7. And then I'll connect with a straight line and then I'll go ahead and extend the armhole line like so. so guys after that i'll go ahead to mark my bust point my under bust point my waistline and then the top length my bust point is 10 inches my under bust is 13 inches my waistline is 16 inches but for this purpose i'll be using 17 inches because i want my top to come down a little for the top length i'll be using 21 inches what i have here is 20 inches i'll go ahead to add the length of my pattern paper to achieve that so guys i'll just go ahead to connect the lines with my rule like so and then after that i'll go ahead to add my pattern paper because i want to have four inches below my waistline as the top length so i've gone ahead to add my pattern paper and then I'll just go ahead to mark 21 inches from the shoulder line. That is 4 inches from my waistline like so. And then I'll also connect that with my rule. And then after that, I'll just go ahead to label my lines as the chest line, the bust point, the under bust the waistline and then the full length so guys i just go ahead to extend my chest line like so and then i'll be creating my armhole cuff i'll just go ahead to divide what i have there by two and then mark it down and then go in by half of an inch and then i'm going to mark my bust measurements divided by four on my chest line like so and then i'll use my rule to connect the points with the cuff so guys after that i'll be going up from my bust point by three inches like so i will mark that on the other side as well so guys the three inches is the distance between my bust points and my under bust okay so just measure the distance between your bust points and your under bust and then you mark that Placing your tape on your bust point, you mark that upwards. So I'll just go ahead and connect the points like so. And then I'll go ahead and mark my nipple to nipple measurement divided by 2. My nipple to nipple is 7 inches divided by 2. That's 3.5. I'm just going to connect that like so. And then on the under bust point, I'll be going in by half an inch on both sides of the dart legs. I'll repeat the same step on the top length as well and then I'll connect that with a straight line like so. So guys, after that I'll be coming down from the bust point by 1 inch. I'll just mark that and then connect with the curve. If you don't have a curve ruler, you can use your free hand for this. But make sure you get your curve correctly so guys after that i'll go ahead to shade this part out so that's the that will be cutting that part out so after that i'll go ahead to mark half inch on both sides of this point as well 
and then i will go up by half an inch from the bust point and then connect with my rule please don't forget to subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful and also please don't forget to share this video and also turn on your notification bell to get notified each time i post a new video so guys i just go ahead to blend the line like so and then after that i'll just shade off this part because we'll be cutting this part out as well so after that the next thing we are going to do is to measure what we have on our chest line that's actually the shoulder measurement which is 14 divided by 2 7 inches so i'll just mark that on the full length of this top as well and then i'll be connecting with the straight line that's because i want to create another dot on this point so guys after that i'll just go ahead to mark one inch inwards from the line i'll just mark one inch inwards like so and then connect it like so so just watch carefully to see how i connect this i connected with a slanted line like so that's because of the look i want to achieve on this side of the front piece so guys i'll just go ahead to shade this part out like so that's because we'll be cutting this out as well so guys after that i'll just go ahead to replace my dots i got one inch on that point i'll mark it there and then on the under bust my under bust divided by two which is seven inches i'm going to replace all the dots like so i got 1.5 inch on that point and then on my waistline as well my waist divided by four which is seven inches and then i added my i replaced my dots and then on the full length you're going to mark your lower waist measurement and then replace the dots. what i got there is two inches and then i'll go ahead to connect the points with my rule so guys after that our front piece is almost ready i'll just go ahead to blend that point to avoid any sharp corners then i'll go ahead to extend this line so this is going to serve as our new chest line okay that's because i want my armhole to be a bit higher i'll come down on that point by half an inch and then i'll just blend it using my pencil then i'll go into my marker to make the line bolder that's going to serve as our new armhole line so guys after that i'll just go ahead to add my sewing allowance i added one inch and then i extended my new armhole line like so and then i'll go ahead to add my allowance on my under bust my bust point my waistline and then my full length i used one inch as well then i'll go ahead to also connect the point so guys after that i just go ahead to cut this out but before then you can also create any neckline of your choice i want mine to be straight that's why i left it that way so just watch carefully to see how i cut this out <laughs> So guys after cutting out i'll just go ahead to match these pieces like so as you can see let's go ahead to match the pieces to create our basque waistline effect i'll be labeling this one two and three so guys this piece is going to be cut on fold that's the center front so i'll just go ahead to match the pieces like so and then i'll come down by half an inch on my waistline you can do one inch but i'll be coming down by half an inch and then i'll go ahead to tape the pieces so it doesn't move out of place and then i'll just connect that i'll first connect with my pencil 
with a curve before I use my marker to make the lines bolder. So guys, if you want, if you don't want your waistline to be curvy, you can just connect with a slanted line. But for me, I want mine curvy, so I use the curve part of my rule. So I'll just extend the line from that point into the sewing allowance like so. And then I'll go ahead to use my marker to make the line bolder. And then after making the line bolder, I'll just go ahead to cut out. So guys, this is all for the front piece. We're just going to go ahead to draft the back pattern. For the back pattern, I also go ahead to rule a straight line on the top of my pattern paper. This is going to serve as a guide line. So I'll just bring out the third piece of our front pattern, place it like so, mark the side and then mark the lower part as well, like so. And then I'll go ahead to connect this with my row. Just mark a straight line like so and then draw a straight line on the lower part as well like so. So this is going to serve as a guide for the back piece. The next thing I'm going to do is to mark my that line which is my nipple to nipple measurement divided by 2. That's 7 divided by 2, 3.5. I'll just mark that and then connect with a straight line like so. And then I'll also go in and out on both sides of the dot legs by half an inch and then connect it to the top as well like so. So guys, after connecting, I'll just go ahead to mark my waist measurement divided by 4, which is 28 divided by 4 is 7 inches. And then I'm going to replace it that of 1 inch that we took. And then I'll go ahead to also measure my bust measurement divided by 4 on the top part. I'll mark that as well. And then I'm going to connect that with my rule. So guys, after connecting the points, I'll just go ahead to add 1 inch sewing allowance on this back pattern as well and then I'll connect with my rule like so. The next thing I'm going to do is to mark 2 inches inwards from that point like so. Guys remember this pattern doesn't have a zipper okay. We are not going to be adding a zipper to this top. So I took out 2 inches from the center back like so. That's because I'll be using eyelets for this top. And I want the back to be open as well. So guys, after that, I'll just go ahead to create a little bit curve on the back neckline. You can decide to go deeper if you want. I just used about 0 0.25 inches and then connected that with the curve. So guys, I'll go up on my waistline by half an inch and then slope that into the lower part of the back piece like so this is done because the front half length is usually longer than the back half length that's why i had to reduce it on that point so guys i just went ahead to label this back pattern and then i'll just go ahead to cut this out so just watch carefully to see how i cut this So guys, this is it. This is the back pattern. I'll just go ahead to label the center back, side back, and then I'll just make arrows to indicate the top part of the pattern so I don't get confused later. And then I'll also indicate the part I'll be joining 
so i don't get confused while cutting on my fabric so the next thing to cut is going to be our strap for my strap i'll be using 12 inches so just go ahead to cut out 12 inches of this piece this piece is on fold and then i'll divide it 1.75 by 2 and then mark it on that point that's because i want the size of my strap to be 1.75 inches i divided it by 2 because this piece is on fold so i'll just connect with a straight line like so and then i'll go ahead to curve the lower part of this strap that's because i want my strap to be curved curved on the front part so i'll just go ahead to connect that with the curve like so you can make your straight if you want so after that i'll just go ahead to cut this piece out so guys the next video is going to be the sewing video so this is how the strap looks like as you can see that's all for this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful the next video is going to be the cutting on fabric and sewing video please do well to check out our other videos as well bye see you in my next one